Hi everyone. Today we are going to see how to migrate on-premises SQL Server into an AWS RDS instance. So firstly, we'll try to click on RDS. So we are trying to create an RDS instance. In this console, try clicking on launch a DB instance. So in this screen, you will be able to see four engines. So SQL Server, Amazon Aurora, Postgres SQL, Oracle, MariaDB and SQL Server. I'm selecting SQL Server instance or engine. From a SQL Server, there are four different versions or editions which are available. One is a you know, server express edition and web edition, standard edition and enterprise edition. So for this lab, we are going to take for a standard edition. Click on next. So there are two options. So one you can use for a production and another one is for dev or test. So dev or test would be a little uh, you know, a little complicated. So you can select this dev or test. Click next. So specified DB sections. So in license model, you can uh, leave license included as it is. And DB engine version should be most recent one. In this case, I am taking thirteen point zero zero double four five one dot zero version. In DB instance, you have to choose the least. Uh, uh, you know the hardware or maybe a CP, CPU or RAM. So I'm going to take for a M4 large family. Time zone, do not change any time zone. Let it be like that. Multi AZ available at deployment, uh, deployment. So keep it as no only. Storage capacity. So there are a couple of options which are available. Provision, provision IOPS. So and general purpose SSD keep general purpose SSD only allocated storage 200 GB by default they have given so I think it should be a minimum of 200 GB only so let it be 200 GB in the DB instance identifier so you need to specify the identifier with you know with what name you are going to identify it as so in my case I am selecting my RDS instance master username I am giving a student any name that you can give so password confirm the password click on next in configure advanced settings page so it will prompt you to select the VPC in my case I have already created the lab VPC so I'm selecting a lab VPC select publicly accessible click on yes by default it was no in VPC security groups let it be create new VPC security group in database options database port is a default port is 1433 I'm just keeping like that so encryption I'm not changing anything I'm not encrypting at all so backing up so uh, backup re retention period I'm not keeping any days I'm keeping a zero days so that it would be no preference monitoring don't touch anything maintenance let it be enable auto minor version updates click on launch DB instance your DB instance is created let's click on all DB instances to see the newly created RDS instance so my RDS instance is still creating it it takes few minutes of time so by the time I have already created a lab RDS instance which which is fully ready click on lab by clicking on this lab RDS instance you can see the endpoint where you can connect to this endpoint and then fetch your database or database details okay now let's 
go to the EC2 instance. So I have created one EC2 instance. So the EC2, EC2 instance you can consider it as for on-premises database uh, um, or uh, you know on-premises database which is in EC2 environment. Click on running instances. So it says that still connecting it. Uh, I mean, sorry, uh, the instance state is running. So you need to click on connect this. Get password. Click on decrypt password. Download the remote desktop file or if you have already RDP utility you can use that remote desktop paste that computer name enter the username so which is administrator enter the password click on OK Click yes. It take few minutes of time. I'm just pausing the video. Okay, now the EC2 instance got launched. Click on the windows in the EC2 machine. Enter the SSMS which means SQL Server Management Studio. It, take, it takes a couple of minutes to load it. I'm pausing it. Okay, uh, so we are able to see the SQL server. So this SQL server name is this. I have a Windows authentication mode. I am clicking on connect. So when I click, when I expand these databases, I could uh, able to see three databases. Two are the system related, and one is Adventure Works. So this is the DB, which is residing in EC2 instance, or in other words, you can call it as on-premises database. So what we are going to do here is we are going to trying to connect to a RDS instance. So the RDS instance, let's go back to the previous screen, click on the RDS so in this screen by selecting the you know so we have seen that there are two instances one is lab and another one is my RDS my RDS is still creating it so I'm clicking on lab so I'm taking this endpoint So you can see the you know uh, different values like details, configuration, security network, instance IOPS, maintenance details, and other values. So in our case, I'm taking endpoint. So 1433 is the default port, and publicly accessible it is yes. So go back here, try to connect a database. So I'm giving a server name is this. It's not Windows authentication, it's a SQL Server authentication. I'm going to give the credentials. Username is student and password. I'm giving it. Click on connect. So you'll be able to 
connect to the RDS instance which is present in the cloud AWS cloud so expand the databases so in this section you will be able to see three databases which are by default present system databases database snapshots and RDS admin so now in this click in this databases uh, by clicking on new database you are going to create a new database the new database creation will take time so we got the screen where we can create the database I'm creating the database with adventure click OK the newly created database is present but there are no tables so you can see this by clicking on uh, plus symbol in the table section you are, you are not able to see any database any tables so whereas on premises database sorry I have double clicked it closing it in on premises database at, by clicking on or by expanding the adventure box clicking on tables so you are able to see this many tables which are available in on-premises database but since it is in a cloud database and we have created adventure database and we are going to take the data from on-premises to cloud so we need to use a uh, we need to right click on this source database click on tasks we are going to export it so clicking on export so in this wizard click next so, so the data source there are many data sources which are available basically we are going to take it as um, SQL Server client So we are going to take it SQL Server native client 11.0 so by default it is taking the server name so this is the EC2 server name and it is taking adventure works click on next this is the you know data source and now we need to enter the destination so select the SQL Server native client 11.0 again so it prompts you to enter the server name you need to enter the RDS instance server details so in this case we are not going to do any Windows authentication we need to provide a SQL Server authentication that we have created in my case we, I have created student going to enter the password you need to select to which database you need to export the details or tables clicking on adventure click next so it prompts you with the two different options so selecting a copy data from one or more tables or views click next it shows you with the source this is the EC2 source and destination is the cloud that is the RDS so select the tables that you wanted to you know uh, export you can select all the tables or maybe you can deselect any any of the tables that you want so click on edit mappings if you have any exclusions or maybe settings that you need to do click on next let it let the run immediately checkbox click on next so it's kind of a review it shows you what is the source location and source provider destination location and destination provider with the tables the list of tables that are exporting it clicking click next 
so there are 25 tables out of 25 this many are success so far and still it's run, uh, running it if there are any errors or maybe warnings it will display the number of errors number of warnings in this section so once it is done so 25 out of 25 are success click on close so come here and then refresh your database click on tables or maybe expand it try to find out the list of records that are present in customer table it shows that 847 rows are present let's see so there are 847 records which are present in RDS instance adventure database customer table let's see whether all the data moved from on-premises to cloud try try firing a query in customer table which is pre, uh, which is present in uh, um, on-premises select top thousand rows so it, it shows 847 there are, there are no records there are no records uh, you know losing from source to destination so we have successfully exported or maybe migrated from on-premises database to cloud rds instance so if you have any questions and feedback please drop me a mail thank you